Hello everyone. I feel like I'm in a nightclub right now. Hello everyone. Hi. Hello. I'm Adam Papagan and welcome to another episode of There's a Place, the ASMR talk show, the quiet talk show that feels good to hear. I try to stay away from topical stuff on this show. I mean, if it comes up in the interview, so be it. But in these monologues, I try to stay away from topical stuff because who knows, these shows are for the ages, these shows for future generations. Who knows what they will remember, a new story, but we've been doing the show about a year. Every time, every time a holiday comes up, I'm either reminded of how I like it or I don't like it. And recently that holiday was April Fool's Day. Worst holiday, it's for unfunny people it's based on tricking people, lying, and, you know, no presents, no family togetherness, no food. It really serves no one. It's a waste of time. And that maybe makes it the worst holiday, because if somebody tells you something, you're engaging, you're listening, you're giving, we only have so much time on this earth, and you're giving them some of that time, and to find out they're lying for you, lying to you for the sake of saying, April Fools. It's really, you know, it's a crime. April Fools is a crime of time. Talk about alliteration. Here's a, here's a rhyming phrase. But no, it really is. It's a waste of time. It wastes people's time. And, and we only have so much time. So, why not make a holiday that increases people's time, people their, their time together? And the reason I'm, I'm spending so much time wasting your time talking about time is that today, uh, I was hanging out with my, my buddy Sean, doing the show uh, before, Dirk, a friend of the show, and we just, just had lunch together, but we ended up hanging out all day, and, and half, half the time I was thinking, oh, you know, I have other stuff to do, I gotta get stuff done, I gotta get out of here. But then I was thinking, we're drinking coffee, we're hanging out, we're talking. Isn't that what it's all about? Just being able to use your time for laughing, enjoying your time with friends, and having fun. And when you don't have control of your time, those are the things you miss. That's what you want to be doing, is just hanging out. So next April 1st, I encourage you, instead of trying to prank someone or something fleeting that won't matter, that time that you would you're setting up a lie, pay someone a compliment. You know, share part of your story with them. Let's make April Fool's Day April Truth Day. April Truth Day. Alright, well we got a late start so let's just jump right into the interview. I don't know if they know it's about to start because I'm talking so softly. But no, I, I can see He's smiling. He's uh, he's looking forward to it. My guest tonight is, uh, is a young man. He's a rapper. This is one of the uh, you know we talk about this all the time. That this show is is equal parts friends, old friends and new friends. And this is a new friend I'm meeting right now for the first time on the show. Please welcome, Bangin. Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, you need water? Oh, well. Just pretend. You know, it's theater of the mind. A lot of this is a podcast, too. A lot of people listen to the show, mm. not just watch it. So they can be imagining that you're drinking water. Make sense? Kind of. Kind of. Okay. So I was uh, looking at your Twitter today to prepare for the show. This is your first interview? Yeah. You've never been interviewed before. No, I don't think so, no. Job interview? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Plenty. Plenty of job interviews. That's kind of, um, I don't like that a job interview and like a journalistic interview have the same word, because a job interview is generally a very negative experience. Yeah, I know. That's funny, because uh, today I was at work, I have a day job, and uh, I was telling my manager, I got an interview, and he was mad as fuck until I told him it was a music interview and then he got all happy 
and then he couldn't stop asking me about my music and it was just funny but yeah I know what you mean it's one of those words like roommate where it means like you're great friends or you never see each other this is some stranger that you happen to be living with it's one of those deceptive words mm -hmm. yeah so what how do you just you know so uh, this is kind of turning into a job interview almost but how, where do you see this interview going what kind of what are you expecting I don't know, man. I'm just happy to be here. Straight up, I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. That's great. So you're just you're coming to it with an open mind. Yeah, man. Yeah. See, if you gave that interview on a job interview, people would be like, "Hey, this guy's super positive. He doesn't know what the future holds, but he's here." Yeah. <laughs> be a good answer. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm just I'm trying, just trying. Yeah. That's great. So, you're a rapper. So, I'm a artist. musician, artist. Okay, great. Even artist, better. Yeah. No, seriously. So, um, how does? And I know you're uh, you're a, you're like definitely a millennial. A millennial. Sorry, we're talking so softly on this episode. I'm a millennial. Yeah. Uh, so elaborate. Okay, so millennial goes up to like it's like 1980 to 2000. You're born, mm -hmm. and there's a big difference, like. Grunge happened and it was over. Like the internet started. Yeah, yeah you know, I'm a like, millennial. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, but you definitely are. I was in 1994. Oh yeah, so, so you definitely. Do you remember before the internet? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. you do. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, mm. maybe right on the right on the verge then. Um, yeah. My point is, you're part of the younger generation. Yeah. Which is really the future, not these poser millennials. Yeah, like these uh, 2000 and up kids. Is what you're saying? No, uh, I'm, I'm like 90 and below. 90 and below. Like the old people. Yeah, like old millennials. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of those. Yeah. They're, they're, they're posers, right? They're yeah. like... Yeah, I know a lot of people are still trying. I mean, you know, they're getting mad at me, though. Cause like, I'm doing the same thing they're doing, but it just, it's working for me, I guess. I guess it's working. And, so, and these old people are just like, yeah... A lot of people get mad, yeah. Because you, you have the fresh perspective. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, so I just wanted to talk about, like, what your, your experience has been coming up. And, yeah, I know this is only your first interview. If I have many more ahead of you. Okay, you want to talk about the hat? No, no, no. The hat was on my list of questions. No, I'm listening to you. I'm listening to what you're saying. I was just looking at the screen. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. But let's start with the hat. <laughs> I'm curious about it. It's the hat with a cup on it. Yeah. What's what's the deal with that hat? This is um, it's a fifty-one fifty. Uh, Supply. White strap back classics. Um, my buddy Daniel has a company, fifty-one fifty, and we run it. And he's a uh, CEO and stuff. And we just uh trying to push merchandise and stuff. You know, just like everybody else is trying. Just like I'm rapping. It's a lot of people rapping and stuff. We're just trying to do it big and shit. And um, yeah, this uh, it, it's a lean cup. This full of lean and shit. I don't, I don't lean. I don't know. Uh, What's leaning? It's uh, it's the lean. <laughs> What's that? It's that, uh, I, it's purple. It's, when you put stuff in the cough, the cough syrup drink, is yeah, it that? Yeah, the cough, yeah, the promethazine. But you don't do that. I've tried it. You've done it before. Okay. I've tried it. It's expensive, so I don't even have the money. Oh, it's an it's an expensive thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Mm. I want to, um, you know, because I'm open to any experience. Like, I'll try anything. Like, you hand me, you know, something at a party, whatever. I'll try it. Mm -hmm. That's something I'm su super curious about. You haven't tried it yet. No. Yeah, you gotta try it. So wait, wait, let me. It's nice. Yeah, it's, it's real tasty. It's nice. I'll so it it's like drinking. Like a great drink mixed with like pills? I don't know, man. I'm not the one. I don't, I don't be doing that like, drug shit. I don't want to talk about all that, but that shit's it's tasty. I've tried it once. It's tasty. How'd you get a hold of it? Um, my friend uh, Hatter. Shout out Hatter. Yeah, my friend Hatter. He uh, gave me a cup. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. And it's always in that styrofoam cup. Yeah, it was mixed with a uh, Sprite and some ice. Sprite and then the cough syrup. Yeah, it's real tasty. Codeine. 
Yeah. yeah so good. it is, it's like drinking pills. Yeah. But no, I guess, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it's the same, same coding. Yeah. Coding is coding, baby. Yeah. Stretches across the generations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I saw a guy, was it, you're from Orange County? No, I'm from no. the high desert, California. Oh, you are? Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the desert. Yeah. What high about desert? the desert? There's not much to talk about. They all know that out there. They know it. Like the Lancaster area? No, like, the Victorville area. Oh, so even further east. Further. Is that east? <laughs> it is east, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's that like growing up out there? Uh, it's pretty cool. It's um, it's just it's just boring, you know. It's uh, it's really dry. It's really for like old, rich, uh, white folk, and you know, for the most part, yeah. Mhm. You speak? Are you still out there now? Uh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's it's nice and boring. Yeah, it's real boring. Okay. Yeah. Can you get the the drink out there? Is it know. popular there? I've never, I've never had it out there. Oh yeah, actually, I did have it out there. I don't know. Okay. Well, uh, what I'm saying is, mm-hmm. you can yeah, get me some. Yeah, Victorville. No, I don't. I can't get you none. That's my guy. Actually, he does it right here. But okay, mm-hmm. so you could get me some. He can get you some. All right. We'll talk after the show. Yeah. Do you drink? Yeah. Yeah. What do you like to drink? Oh, I like to drink malt liquor. Malt liquor, so like 40 Mickey's. What's your favorite? Uh, well, I used to drink King Cobra. Mm-hmm. I've started drinking Steel Reserve mm-hmm. because it's the same price, but there's a little bit more alcohol in it. Steel Reserve's heavy. That's the old man drink. It is. That's for like <laughs> someone who's like. You go to bars and shit? Do I go to bars? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can't get Steel Reserve there. I know, huh? Yeah, they only got their drafts. Yeah. Do you ever drink bum wine? No, it is that. Bum wine. Bum wine is like Mad Dog or Nitrain or Thunderbird, things like that. Mm. It's kind of like the official version of the syrup drink, but just with alcohol. Oh, it's high funny. it's like fourteen percent alcohol, twenty up to twenty percent sometimes. Mm-hmm. And a lot of sugar. That's cool. And it's made to drink over a long period of time. Can I get some water? Or can, can you get you, some water? Can somebody give me water. Um, well you brought three guys with you. Do you think I don't know if these are your friends, or... Can you get him some water? Who are these guys you brought with you? <laughs> so they're your rapper, you have an entourage. No, that's... I, 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 just get another eight. I don't know. Um, this is my friend, that's my friend Daniel. And uh, this is uh, Vince, and this is Nick. And um, they're just here with me. Put your hand off the, the oh, mic. Yeah. That's the mic? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I'm talking all into the mic and shit. This fool's supposed to give me water in my back. Um, yeah, and we're just, uh, they're all 5150. They're part of this. Part of the so, hat. It's a fashion um, movement, yeah. Fashion movement. Is it just the hat? What else you got? He's got merchandise out there. He's got uh, t-shirts, uh, jerseys, baseball jerseys, hockey jerseys, hats. Uh, yeah, he's going to come out with more stuff soon. Mm-hmm. Is there anything you could not? Well, is there anything you could not imagine that cup going on? Mm, like some. Um, where does the merchandise end? I don't know. Like, yeah, come on. I just don't step on the green screen. No shoes. Wow. It's friend, your friend thing. That's um, funny. Yeah, and he put ice in it. That's nice. That's a good friend. Yes, thank you. My bad. What were we talking about? Oh, just other things that the the cup could go on. Uh, I don't know. It's it's limitless. I'm pretty sure. It's a it's a it's a fashion statement. A lot of people like this. I, a lot of people. Yeah, I put it on my um, EP cover. On my uh, last EP cover, I just dropped the EP. I don't know if you've seen that. I was pushing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think you could do a cup with that cup on it? A little meta. Probably not. No, you wouldn't do a cup. Okay. I don't know much about this cup. I, this is my guy, Danny's cup. All right, but you like the hat. Yeah, no, shout out 5150. Yeah, this is... This is what is 5150? It's uh, a... Please code or something. Right? He, he said it. He said it's 
it just means like crazy. I don't know. He, he just got it. It's a, it's a bunch of, it's a variety of uh, definitions, yeah. There's a country song that goes 5150, so 5150. Mm -hmm. Better call the popo. And what does that mean? It's like, well, then, then the next verse is, I'm going crazy. I think I love you, baby. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's just the, the code for going crazy. 5150. Mm -hmm. Or 5150 if you're in the country. Mm -hmm. it's kind of the city version and then the, the country version. Mm -hmm. so let's talk about rap. How'd you get into rap music? I just started rapping. <laughs> you just started. Well, that's, I, I, I suppose that's how someone starts anything, mm -hmm. is they, they just start. Yeah, I just, uh, I was just, uh, what up, man? Doing this stuff, you know, it's same thing like everybody else. Like, okay, like everyone else. How many people are rappers? Like, of the general population? My bad. I, I confuse you. I'm, I'm not trying to be like nobody else for sure, but I'm just saying, you know, everybody else is doing the same thing. No, there are a lot of people who do rapping. Yeah, but wait, what were you, what were you saying again? How, like, is it. Is it sort of just like a prerequisite if you're from like a certain like certain culture, certain neighborhood, like everyone tries to rap and then there's like this level. Because like you basically you're doing it on your own. Mm -hmm. You gotta get the beats, but like it's you can kind of be self motivated about it. Yeah. You can you have control of your destiny. It's not like a rock band right. where you gotta find someone who has drums and a place to practice. Like there's like some barriers to that. Right. The barriers to becoming a rapper are relatively mm. small. So like, does every, like does everyone you grow up with rap? No, but a lot of people. A, a lot, lot of people, people though, do. right? A lot of people do. A lot of not everyone, but a good majority of them, and uh, have tried. A lot of have like we tried together. A lot of people like I used to work with. People I still work with. Um, yeah, you know. Mm hmm. It's and, cool and when did you know you were past the trying stage? She, uh, around, uh, like December. <laughs> oh, that Decem recently? Decem no, December 1st, like 2014. Oh, well, you have an exact date. What happened on December 1st, 2014? I, I just dropped it. I just dropped this song called Never Too Lazy, and it was just tight, and I just, like, felt like I was like oh yes I'm in here so I just like that song you got yeah. some some reinforcement what do you mean well you felt like somebody was listening to you I guess so yeah most definitely yeah mm -hmm. what's that song about I don't know I don't really I don't really <laughs> know what, what most of my songs is about, is about you know I just be just rapping and shit I'm rapping about whatever like you do you know? freestyle rap ever I do it with the homies, and I used to a lot, but like, actually, since I've gotten older, I've kind of just stopped. Is like, I don't really like care so much for that, and I'm just like serious. So, so you want to like write it beforehand? What do you mean? Well, you want to like put some thought into what you're doing versus yeah. freestyling, where you're just kind of. Yeah. I knew a guy. There's a guy I knew in high school who rapped. <laughs> And he would cheat at freestyling by writing down words that would rhyme beforehand mm -hmm. and then working that into his freestyling. Yeah. People do that. I don't like that. That's a move, though? Yeah. I see them do it all the time. And they try to get credit off of it. It's pretty sad, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I think it's cheating, personally. I mean, no. Nah, nah, I mean, you could call a song a freestyle on, like, um on the tape though, but when you're just like, when you're just right there, just spitting rins and you know it's a freestyle, and you know it's a freestyle session and everybody's spitting freestyles, you're the only one spitting the written, it's kind of gay, so, I mean, not cool, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you get the beats from? Um, I don't know, there's a lot of producers out there. That's how right, yeah, there's a lot of them out there. Yeah. And then, will they, is it like an exclusive deal when you partner up with one? Um, or do they kind of just, are they fast and loose? Exclusive. With the they beat. have exclusive rights 
I mean, just like, it's the beat that you might, that song that you're talking about on December 1st, 2014. Like, are there other songs with that same beat out there that the producer? Probably, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea, but maybe there might be, yeah. And how's that networking done? Over the internet? Yeah, man, yeah, you should, yeah, just through Twitter. I, I don't know what else, yeah. That, like, that's all, yeah. Like, who has beats? Oh, yeah, and then, um, yeah, I go on websites. Yeah, all types of, uh, hit, up, hit up people, email, mm -hmm. just search, just go bee hunting all day, all day long. Bee all, hunting? Yeah, just hunt for bees, yeah. A lot of people know what this is, yeah. Just hunting for bees, just trying to find some. I haven't, I haven't found those type of bees in a long time. People are dry out there right now. Sometimes the producers are dry. kind of hurts, because then, like, a lot of rappers can relate to this, because... Like, it'll be dry out there, dry on the internet, nobody got beats. You say, send me beats, everybody be sending you beats, and they're like, garbage. If you say, send me send me beats, and uh, you put your email on Twitter, you get, like, 10 emails from, like, some gar and they'll all be garbage. There's garbage beats, and it sucks. So if I went on Twitter and said, send me beats, mm -hmm. I might get some beats? Yeah, put your email. Yeah, I'd do that. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna do that. No, anybody. Yeah, I'd be like, I'm serious. Like, just be, I just be, because people, people, um, look at, it, look for that, look for people looking for that, and then they see that you're really looking for it. They're gonna hit you up. I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Cause I um, I really like outsider music. What is that? Outsider music is music made by people outside of the traditional like structure of the music business. Mm -hmm. And it's it's getting harder and harder to find. And so the kind of music I'm in, more like rock music and stuff, mm -hmm. and that there's like no outsider music. But I was just talking with another collector of outsider music who was like, oh yeah, like rap music, there must be so many weird people doing rap for like no audience who are like really like weird about it. Yeah. So you think that there's weird stuff out there? Like these people will come out of the woodwork if I'm just like, I need beats. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Who's the weirdest rapper you can think of or you've come across? Um, uh, weird? Like, do you ever come, because it, it, it is, rap is, is really more of like a, it's a, kind of a solitary thing, mm -hmm. right? Because like, you get the beat from a guy you won't even know, and then like you make the lyrics. Yeah. But like, does anybody ever send you anything that's just like, this person belongs in a mental institution. Beat wise? Beat wise or even or uh, lyric music? wise, yeah. Oh yeah, it's a lot of people I mean, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, it's a lot of I can yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of people out there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well I, I need to I need to dive into that for my uh, my research. Yeah, well for getting beats. And finding weird people. Yeah, they're all out there, yeah. Mm hmm yeah, on Twitter. It's a, it's a, yeah, uh, it's a, a few crazy artists out there, yeah. I saw on Twitter and Instagram a lot of anime. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you got it perked up a little bit. Yeah, no, yeah, I just, uh, I just used to watch it as a kid. Uh, I watch it sometimes on the internet, like, just watch episodes, like, of Dragon Ball Z and stuff, yeah. I'm no, like, fan, like, I mean, I am a fan, most definitely, but... Like, a lot of other people are way into that, and I'm not really into that. You're not going to the conventions? No. Just a... I'm not reading the manga and none of that. But you like Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. Dragon Ball Z is cool. That's a tight, yeah. I'll watch that on TV over anything. I don't watch TV at all, so I'll watch that. Mm -hmm. I'll still watch that, yeah. Dragon Ball Z. There's probably, what, 20,000 episodes of it? And they're all know. just like the guy, like. I don't know. I started watching. I like um started watching after the. Uh, hmm. The Cell Saga. No, <laughs> no. Majin Buu. No, it was no, it was, the, it was like the first saga. The one with Raditz, the one like the first one. Oh, the Saiyan Saga. Yeah. Is that what yeah. it's called? Yeah, the, yeah. I started watching from the first one. I guess, yeah, yeah. But there are episodes before that, weren't there? There's Dragon Ball. Yeah, see, I don't watch Dragon Ball at all. And Dragon Ball GT? Yeah, I was a fan. Okay, so you'll do I that. I really like that, yeah. 
What do you like about Dragon Ball? That's it's familiar. Fighting. The fighting the is. Fight, yeah. yeah, it's so. Uh, mm. It all kind of. There'll be like four episodes building up to a fight. Yeah, that's annoying. The next time on Dragon Ball Z, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. And their hair just keeps getting more blonde. I know, huh? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that might be like a, a metaphor for like whitewashing or anglicizing different cultures? Like they long to be Aryan? Because his eyes turn blue too. I know, huh? Yeah, because uh, the creators were Japanese. Yeah, but like... They probably want to be white. Is yeah. It <laughs> right? <laughs> what else? Yeah. No, seriously. Like, what other, yeah. what other interpretation is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. You're more powerful when you become Aryan? No, nah, I don't know. Actually, you never know. Um, mm -hmm. That's why they need to come out with more black... They should have had black characters on Dragon Ball Z. I don't know why they didn't. Mr. Popo, do you remember that guy? He was black. That's like... He was... Uh, Black. He, he was like, what the hell? It's like a like, Sambo. How'd they get away they, with they that? They had that one guy that was with that one guy that was with that uh, gray hair. He was purple. And he had gray hair. And then the a other purple guy. See, dang, I don't, I don't be remembering names, but yeah. Oh, I know who you're talking about from the later stuff. I think so. And he had the Mohawk, the black dude. He was, yeah. the, only, he was the only black dude. They know what I'm talking about. Dang, I wish I, 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 wish I remember his name. But the guy with the lips. Yeah, that's Mr. Popo. Yeah, that's this. That's not okay. Uh, no, yeah, I don't. Mm. Hyperbolic time chamber. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you could get in that, do you remember the hyperbolic time chamber? Yeah. They I train would, one hour a year or whatever. I would go in there. You would do it. Mm -hmm. How would you spend that time? In training, getting better. At fighting or rapping? Everything. Every. <laughs> Be like just doing push-ups and. Then you have words that rhyme? Yeah. Okay. Like gel or something? Yeah, it, it looks I kind don't of know. Like it looks like that in the movies. Have you ever been to jail? No. Seems rough. I, you know, yeah. I, I've never been. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't either. I don't know. Yeah, even to, for street cred or whatever. No, no. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, it seems rough. Yeah. Is your shirt written backwards? Uh, this is uh, the homie's company. It's uh, Live Evil. Oh, okay. Shout out Live Evil Animal. Yeah. Is that like a, because like your name, banging is spelled with a V? No, yeah, that's, I don't know. What, it's just a trend, I guess. Uh, that we didn't, I, I just uh, met this met this guy recently. Like, mm -hmm. Jersey? Yeah. Okay. Backwards letters. See, I'm learning so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you like to wear? Lacoste. Lacoste. The yeah. alligator? Yeah, yeah. I like the brand that's classy, classy. Yeah. Because it retails for like the shirts like hundred twenty dollars. But if I went to a thrift store, mm -hmm. it's like eight dollars. Wow, you go to the thrift store? Oh yeah. That's so, cool. So that's like people, you're finding like a hundred dollars. A lot of people do that. See, that's that's cool. Yeah. What do you think of Macklemore song about the thrift store? I don't know. It's actually pretty catchy. Uh, 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 uh. But you, it didn't inspire you to do the thing? No, I didn't. No, I just like listen. Like, if it comes on when I'm on my way to work in the radio, and I'm like, mm, all right, for sure. Like, you know? Or I got the aux cord. But yeah. Yeah, I need to. You need the radio. Mm. So, what kind of things do you listen to on the aux cord? Should I listen to me and then, uh... <laughs> you uh, listen to yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of confidence. Like, I don't even watch this show. when I'm on it. That's funny. But you listen to your own music. Wow. Um, yeah, that's, that's crazy, because... I used to not even do that. I still kind of don't a lot of the times, but... Just sometimes I will. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, just like, whenever I drop something new, I will. And, uh... Yeah. You gotta test it out. Mm -hmm. See how it sounds in the car. Mm -hmm. Through the aux cable. Mm -hmm. Do you hear listening? You're like, kind of dissatisfied, and you're like, ah, it's probably the cable. It's a cheap cable. It would sound better with a uh, no. monster cable. No, okay, you take you take responsibility. Yeah. All right, that's good. <laughs> um,
I'm sorry, I couldn't help but notice from your Twitter. You can't because you've never done an interview, so my research was maybe a little one-sided. Okay. You really like weed, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. See, and you did the laugh about weed. That's how you know. If you're willing to weed, have that laugh about it. That's funny. <laughs> that big grin? Yeah, they, uh, they smoke. Smoke a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit. What's your favorite way of, of taking it? Of smoking? Uh, no, but I mean, like. Of smoking? Yeah, of smoking. <laughs> Um, blunt, bong. Ooh, you do a bong, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. The blunt. Mm hmm There's something very, uh, zen about it. Yeah. Serenity. Yeah, right? Mm hmm You pass it around? Yes. We passed a couple around before we got here. I, I can, you don't say. Mm -hmm. You don't say. Are they back there hearing this or watching this? What? Are they watching this back there? They are. I hope so. That's why they're laughing. They laugh. See, they have that stoner laugh too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you ever do that move where you're like, um, you're trying to like suss out if other people are into smoking? So like you bring it up. Oh my God. That's you know so what I'm talking funny. about? I just had this because I was talking about my job. Yeah, I just started this fucking job like a week ago so I was fucking working and I was talking to my coworkers. I had to bring it up because I had to find out you know like everybody looks our age everybody looks like they smoke so I gotta ask them so I started hinting it like um yeah you guys you guys smoke like smoke what like, cigarettes oh yeah not exactly yeah, yeah. no yeah they yeah but then we just got into it and they, mm -hmm, they smoke weed so that's just funny though yeah so like, all the time though mm -hmm. How long do you wait until you, you try to drop that? Drop what? Like the, the test. What test? The, the weed test. What do you mean? Well, like, like, how, like you said you worked at this place for a week. Mm -hmm. Like, did you wait? Did this just happen on, like, on the second day where you're like, yeah, we got apples here. You know, if you, uh, if you hollow out an apple, you can... Uh, smoke with it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Bang. But no, I explain. Elaborate. Mm -hmm, I don't get it. Just like you find any opportunity into it. And like you do that thing where like you dart the eyes around and like see who's like grinning. Yeah. All the time. Is yeah. that what you're asking? But how how long do you wait? I guess till you want to smoke, right? How long do I wait to smoke? No, until you broach that subject. So I approach what subject? The subject of smoking. Oh, um, like a week, I guess. Okay, a week. Yeah, I don't want to wait because <laughs> I need to know how, who I need to know who I'm messing with. Yeah, no, seriously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had to cheat on a drug test? Yeah. How'd you do it? It's quick fix. Oh, the the pill? No, the piss. Fake piss. Oh, the fake piss. Mm hmm Because mm -hmm. you don't know anybody who doesn't smoke. Yeah, I know a lot of people. I know a lot of sober people. I could go without smoking, but, you know, I have no reason to. <laughs> <laughs> the fake piss, okay. Mm hmm So you can also do the thing where you, like, got to keep it warm. Is that, do you have to do all that? Mm, yeah. What's this job that you have that you just started? A fucking so warehouse job. Oh, warehouse job. Yeah, I'm out there with Lalo. I'm out there with the Mexicans. I'm the only black person in there. It's me and all Mexicans. We just be lifting boxes, working all day. That shit crazy. Kill, it's crazy lifting killing, boxes. Killing my back. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. But I do it because I got to get some money so I can yeah. support this music because that's the only day job. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's mm. what you got to do. Mm. But you can't work there too much. Do you have like a like an out point set? Because I have a day job too. Are you saying like when I'm going to quit? Or just like... When I'm going to quit? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, fucking like probably three months. I've thought about it already. I can go like a good three, four months in there. I don't want to find something better or just not even work. I want to be like, have this music shit fucking help me out and shit. Mm -hmm. well, that's, 
that's the best way to do it. Yeah. Just being able to devote your time yeah. to yourself mm -hmm. rather than mailing people crap. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. helping load crap onto yeah. a truck, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You said you were the only black person where you work. Does yeah. that happen a lot where you're the only black person somewhere? Yes. It's funny you asked that. I was just thinking about that the other day. Yeah, all the time. Why is that? I don't know. Does, is every black person just the only black person where they are? No, because so like we're an exchange mean, program. I just I show everybody. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people everywhere. Yeah, it's a variety of people, black, white. But you're always the only one. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you find that like your mentality changes or whatever when you're with like other black people? Uh. Like, do you feel like you have to be like a different? person when you're the only black guy like, there's some expectations on you to be the, no, the black guy no and they and uh, no and anybody that knows me knows that i don't i don't be acting like nah but i'm not that like uncle tom but just like nah oh, I, here i am alone again you know when you I'm mean like do I, am i just regular like do i be acting different like no nah. or no you don't no nah. okay that's good no nah. no nah. Do, but do you think the other black people have the same experience where they're the only because I've heard from many different black people in all sorts of circumstances like yeah blah 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 and there are no black people there yeah. it seems like that happens a lot yeah it does happen huh because they, they bring it up a lot huh? yeah it seems like it would suck it's funny <laughs> does it it's, does it bum me out it's, it's like hmm. it's funny because there is actually there's there's a black person in the other department and me and her always acknowledge each other every time like just because we got yeah. to gotta yeah. to stick together don't you do seriously yeah yeah um but yeah mm. uh, when i went to australia you went to australia yeah that's it was, tired it was, it was okay that's tired there's aboriginal people you know aboriginal people mm -hmm. it's like i have heard that term like before. black but like from like the outback you know mm -hmm. And and every group of people I would see would be like a bunch of white people, and they'd all they'd have one Aboriginal guy. You'd never see a bunch of Aboriginal people hanging out together. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's funny, Aboriginal. Yeah. They're just black. Yeah, but they're not like Africa black. They're Australian black. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, different, different strokes for different folks, I guess. Mm hmm. That's tired. What you've been to Australia. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. What's wrong with it? It's just America, Canada, and England combined. America, Canada, and what? England. It's like, you ever You've been, been to San England? Diego? No. But have you ever been to San Diego? Mm -hmm. When I was a little kid, yeah. SeaWorld. Yeah, Australia mm -hmm. is San Diego the country. It's a whole country of San Diego. Mm -hmm. That's tight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Check out the hat. I need that uh, chapstick. Shoot that. Chapstick. Oh, he's asleep. One of your entourage fell asleep. Um, I know. Whose fault is that? Is that my fault or your fault? Or his fault? His fault. Smoke enough blunts. Yeah, too many. What's going on in your phone? Dang, he's been Snapchatting me the whole time. <laughs> you got a lot of notifications on that's there. Him. That's all him. Okay. In the last ten minutes, that's just him. Yeah. Right. Like I'm not getting any. <laughs> yeah. Get some Z's. Yeah, I know. I need to carry Z's. Dang, Z's are good. Z's are good. Yeah, people. He tweeted about wanting to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Sleep is cool. Sleep when I can. But I'm always up and shit, so. Mm -hmm. You're up, you're down. Yeah. Whatever, whatever everybody throws at you. <laughs> yeah. What else do you do for fun, my man? You turn it around on me. I host my talk show. That's tight. This is it. This is the only fun thing That's in my cool. life. Got a mushroom on your shirt. Do you do yeah, shrooms? Yeah, Smurfs. You do shrooms? I've done them once. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. I'd recommend it to any, in the right circumstances. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't like 
take mushrooms and go to work, you know, <laughs> it kind of ruin it. Right. But in the right, because they're kind of rare to come across, you know? Oh, okay. yeah. But if somebody offers me some, have it once, it was great. Yeah, that's right, that's right. It was, I was talking to somebody and they kicked in and like, they turned into like a watercolor painting. <laughs> like it was real like low key, it was cool. That's sweaty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Do you have any experience with psychedelics or anything? Uh, smoke. That's not, it's mind expanding, but it's not like you're not going to see stuff. That's, that's trippy. If you drop some acid into that styrofoam cup. No, no, I never really dropped no acid in no styrofoam. Oh, I've done shrooms young. before. I've done shrooms before. Do you have a good time? Yeah, it's tight. All right. All right. He got it out of me. I don't <laughs> want to say it. Yeah, I like shrooms. Shrooms, I, I did them once, yeah. They're dope. Mm. Right, so we're, we're almost out of time, but I did want to ask you one last question. One of your tweets said, uh, you're, I'm paraphrasing, but it said every day you're, you're thankful just to breathe. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, How come? Well, because you gotta, you gotta breathe. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just want to... Um, just live, you know, just live, do me, and just uh, do what I want to do with my friends, have a good time, and uh, yeah, do all that. Uh, yeah. Well, it seems like you're having a good time. I hope you had a good time. Yeah, man, that was cool, yeah. Popped your interview cherry, yeah, man. as it were. Yeah, that's cool. A little something. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it, man, a lot. Thank you. What can people, you got a SoundCloud, you got a Twitter. How um, do you spell banging for, I don't think it went up, but for people who are interested? It's uh, B-V-N-G-I-N, B-V-N-G-I-N, uh, and I just got SoundCloud and um, Twitter and uh, Instagram, Instagram and YouTube. Facebook, that's private though. Yeah, how did you know that? That your Facebook was private? You don't know that. I didn't, I was just, mm-hmm. I've been no, doing this for a while, uh, so. Yeah, I don't, yeah, this is what I fucking. Um, That's funny. You think you want to uh, plug your friends at all? They came all the way down here to Boyle Heights. Yeah, what? So what? Do oh, you know if they have a SoundCloud or anything? Oh, look at that. Shout out fifty one fifty. Yeah, uh, that's right. Fifty one fifty. Follow fifty one fifty on Instagram and Twitter fifty one fifty supply. Um, yeah. Get that hat. Yeah. Everyone asks you about the hat. Yeah, everybody's copping it. It's the newest and latest in fashion. I want to get it. Yeah. The latest fashion. It is, yeah. Half the cup. Mm. Check it out. Bang, and thank you for being on the show. Yeah, I Hope you enjoyed it. yourself. Thank you. And until next time. Well, hey. Uh, until next time. Thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs> this is Adam Papier. Yeah, the city. Yeah, the city. Set him back again. I knew that there's a place you can go. And it's your mind. Good night.